72. My name is Haley Ocasio, and I'm from class 712. Today is September 22nd, 2021. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, we are going to watch a video. It is very important that we watch carefully. There are many reasons in which a school evacuation may be necessary. Evacuations require people to move in an orderly fashion from point A to point B. The most common way that schools practice this action is a fire drill. Sometimes a drill is signaled solely by the fire alarm. In some cases, Specific directions will be announced over the PA system. In a few minutes, we will be conducting an outdoor fire drill. Please remember to follow normal procedure throughout the drill. Please keep in mind the seriousness of a fire drill and the importance of your full cooperation. Attendance will be taken, so be sure to stay with your class at all times. At the sound of the bells, please follow your teacher's direction and proceed quickly and quietly. Thank you. Be sure to follow the proper GRP and the evacuation route as outlined in the classroom posters. All staff, students, and visitors are required to evacuate the building during a drill or an emergency. During an evacuation, Teachers are trained to secure the classroom evacuation folder that contains the attendance sheet and the set of assembly cards. In addition, teachers must lead students to evacuation assembly locations listed on the classroom fire drill posters unless they are specifically directed to use a different location. Also, it is imperative that teachers take attendance to account for all students and use the assembly cards to indicate conditions in their area. For a physical education teacher, be sure to alert a building response team member about situations where students may be in gym attire during a cold or rainy weather evacuation. When the fire alarm sounds, students should be trained to go to the stated location with their class as identified on the classroom fire drill poster. The students should be instructed to leave their belongings behind form a single file line, and remain silent so that they are able to listen for additional evacuation instructions. In some situations, especially in fire or smoke conditions, the fire department or law enforcement may suggest that students hold hands with the person in front and behind them, cover their heads, or crawl. These methods are for self-protection. If directed, let law enforcement see your hands. This may be expected if law enforcement is conducting a room-by-room -room evacuation after a lockdown. During an evacuation, the building response team is activated and a command post must be established. The command post is a single location where administrators gather and relay information to the members of the building response team and first responders. The school nurse is also at the command post with a first aid kit on hand and the building response team kit. Here's how to use the assembly cards. At the evacuation destination, take attendance and verify the status of your students. If everything is okay and you have no missing or extra students, fold the sheet to show the green card and hold it where administrators and first responders can see it. If you have missing or extra students or can give first responders information, hold up the red card. If you need medical assistance, hold up the medical card. Remember, the school nurse is on the lookout for the medical card. During an emergency, staff must be prepared to assist individuals who speak languages other than English. I speak cards are available to assist adults or students in an emergency. A successful evacuation drill will result in all staff and students 
returning to the building in a safe and orderly fashion. At the end of every drill or emergency, attendance must be taken, and any missing students must be immediately reported to the main office. When the fire bell rings, we need to exit the building silently and quickly. We need to stay online outside quietly so we can hear the directions that we may be given. Remember, you should never use your cell phone if we are evacuating. If you are on crutches or cannot go down the stairs, you need to go to 216H, 316H, or 416H. Of course, it depends which floor you are on. An adult will come and assist you. There may be occasions where we have to enter the building and will be scanned. There is nothing to be afraid of. Students will be asked to place all metal objects in a plastic tray prior to reaching the screening checkpoint. Everyone must walk through a magnet meter. The magnet meter resembles a doorway as in, and is an apparatus designed to detect the presence of metal. An alarm is generated when metal is detected on the person. This will not happen every day. All of our teachers have been trained, so if you have any questions, ask right now. Make sure to make a great day and be bulldog strong.